वेलकम टू सी एंड सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग अंडर ई पी जी पाठशाला टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद मॉडल ट्वेंटी सेवन स्ट्रिंग्स इन सी द स्ट्रिंग्स इज नॉट अ डिफाइन टाइम इट इज नथिंग बट द एरे ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स विच इज टर्मिनेटेड बाय स्लैस जीरो कैरेक्टर देर आर सम एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग्स इन सी द एडवांटेजेस आर इट इज अ कंपाइल टाइम इवेल्युएशन सो इट इज फास्टर इन एग्जीक्यूशन एंड द डिसएडवांटेज इज basically it does not check the array boundaries so if the string is of some specific characters then these boundaries are not checked in c programming it will make it difficult to use it with the string functions also so in c++ the strings are different than c what happens in c++ strings are defined type a class of string is defined in c++ where we can have the array of characters plus it also determines the size or the length of the string whereas we can also use different functions which are there with strings in c++ there are two types of strings that we can use one is the c style strings which is nothing but the array of characters and second is a specific string object or the string class we can define the objects of this particular string class in c++ class where there will be some built in functions which can be used with the strings automatically so let's start with our module and just see different concepts of strings a string is a collection of sequence of characters in c++ it is possible to work with strings either with the help of character array or by using the predefined string class in character data type only the single byte of the memory is occupied where in case of string several number of bytes of memory are occupied the two types of strings that are supported by c++ language are c strings which are basically c style strings and strings that are objects of string class now let us see the learning objectives of this module first we'll study about c strings which is nothing but c style strings then we will know about reading and writing strings we will study about passing a string to a function we will get familiar with the string functions we will learn about c++ string class we will get familiar with operations on objects of string class we will study about arrays of strings we will learn about association between c library functions and c++ string operators or methods the type of the string that is presented in c programming is supported in c++ programming it is also called as c strings in c++ programming c strings are the arrays of data type character which are terminated with a null character that is slash -0 ascii value of a null character is 0 so many times it is also called as zero terminated string the c++ compiler involuntary places the slash -0 at the end of the string when it initializes the array it is not required to use all the space that is allocated for the string like that of arrays the syntax is char array or the string name maximum number of characters to be stored has to be given in the square brackets plus 1 is basically used to store the null character the number of elements that can be stored in a string is always n minus 1 if the size of the array is specified as n this is one byte less is reserved for slash zero character or the null character the string is always terminated with the null character now let's see the example of the string data type here we are declaring the string as char name opening and closing bracket is equal to c l i v the memory representation for the above string is given in the table now this particular c live array will be stored with the index value as 0 so c will be stored at location 0 one location will have the value of l at index 2 we will have the value of i at index 3 we will have the variable v at index 4 we'll have the value as e and at index 5 we'll have the null terminator that is slash zero character the address is specified as 0x33451 
and for every index it will be incremented by 1 because the character will take 1 byte of space. Now let us see some more examples of the C array. The C style string can be defined in various ways. These are char text opening and closing bracket equal to CPP or char name in bracket 4 is equal to KEN or character text empty brackets inside the curly braces the individual character string as C P P slash 0. So, instead of giving it as a simple string they have given the individual character values as C P P or character str 4 C P P slash 0 in curly braces or char text 100 is equal to the string C P P. So, any one valid notation will be allowed in C++ programming. The different methods that are available to read the strings are as follows. The string without the blank spaces can be read by using the simple C in statement. The syntax is C in the operator and the variable value str. Second way the string with the blank space can be read either by using the get line function or using the get s function. The syntax is c in dot get line in bracket str comma at or get s str. The strings can be written by using the c out statement or by using the put s function. The syntax is c out the operator str or put s in bracket str. The header file c stdio must be included whenever the get s put s functions are used in the program. Now, let us see a simple program to print the reverse of the text that is accepted from the user. We will start with our program hash include io stream using namespace std integer main. Now, we will declare the string as cat text in bracket 80. We will display the message to the user as c out enter text will accept the input as c in dot get line in bracket text comma 80. Now, we will declare the variable as integer length. Now, we will write a for loop for length equal to 0 text length not equal to slash 0 length plus plus semicolon integer temp 1 for integer i is equal to 0 j is equal to length minus 1 i less than length by 2 i plus plus j minus minus our for loop will start here we are going to write a message as temp 1 is equal to text i text i is equal to text j and text j equal to temp 1. Now, we will display the message as c out the revert text is the text variable end l and return 0. Now, when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as enter the text suppose the text enter is welcome the reverse text is it will display the reverse text as e m o c l e w. Now, let us see one more program to find the substring within the string if it is found then display the starting position. Now, here we will start with our program hash include io stream using namespace std we will start with our main program integer main we will start with our main logic we here we are going to declare two character arrays or the two strings as character text 180 text 280. Now, we will display the message to the user c out enter the main text. Now, we will take the uh, input from the user as c in dot get line text 1 comma 80. Now, we will display the message to the user enter the text that is to be search. We will take from the user the input as c in dot get line text 2 comma 80. Now, we will start with our logic of searching the substring integer length equal to 0. For length equal to 0 text 2 of length not equal to slash 0 length plus plus semicolon integer i j for i equal to 0 j equal to 0 text of i not equal to slash 0 and text 2 of j not equal to slash 0 i plus plus if text 1 of i is equal to text 2 of j then j plus plus else j will be equal to 0 and end of the for loop. 
once we come out of this particular for loop we are going to check the value of the j if j equal to 1 see out the text is found at position i minus j plus 1 else see out the text is not found return 0 and our program will end when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as enter the main text suppose the text entered by the user is this is my first program on strings in cpp now it will display the message as enter the text that is to be search suppose the text that is to be search is my m1 then it will display the message the text is found at position 9 now as you can see the my text is present inside the string so the string that is entered by the user is this is my this blank space is blank space my so t will be at position 0 h will be at position 1 i will be at position 2 s will be at position 3 4 will be a blank space 5 will be position i 6 will be position s and 7 will be position blank space here my will be at position 8 but we are going to display the position starting with 1 so we are giving plus 1 to that particular position so 8 plus 1 will be 9 position where the character my or m is present so for the our understanding we will start the index value from 0 but for user understanding we will dis while displaying the position we will add 1 so for user the t will start with position 1 passing string to a function the c strings can be passed to a function in the same way as that of array is passed to a function now let us see a simple program to see the usage of passing a string to a function we will start with our program hash include io stream using namespace std void display string character st semicolon now we will write a display string function code as void display string character st see out the string is entered is s the value of st on the screen integer now we will start with our main program integer main character string 100 see out enter a string and l c in dot gate string comma 100 now we are going to pass this particular string to a display string function as display string in bracket string return 0 main program will end now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as enter the string suppose the string entered by the user is hello how are you then it will display the message or the output as the string that is entered is hello how are you the functions that are supported by c++ that control not terminated strings are as follows the first one is string copy it will accept two parameters str1 comma str2 this function will copy the string str2 into string str1 second is string cat in bracket str1 comma str2 this function will concatenate string str2 onto the end of the string str1 the third one is str length in bracket str1 this function will return the length of the string str1 the next function is string cmp str1 comma str2 this function will return 0 if str1 and str2 are same or equal less than 0 if str1 is less than str2 greater than 0 if str1 is greater than str2 the next one is str str in bracket str1 comma str2 this function will return a pointer to the first occurrence of the string str2 in string str1 second next one is str chr str1 dot ch1 this function will return a pointer to the first occurrence of the character ch1 in string str1 the c++ string class the standard c++ library provide a string class type that supports all the operations that are available in c and it also tries to provide extra functions in general a string represents a sequence of characters the string class is very used and it consists of constructor destructor member functions 
and various operators. To use the string class, it is must to include the header file string. The syntax is hash include in angular bracket string. Now let us see the declaration and initialization of variable of string type. The variables of string type can be declared like a variable of any other data type. The syntax is string and the variable name. Example string str1. So, here str1 is an object of class string. It is also possible that declaration and initialization of a variable of a string type can be done in a single statement. Syntax will be string variable name equal to value. Example string str2 is equal to in double quotes the string hello. So, here str2 is initialized to the value hello. Now, let us see the concept of constructor and destructor of a string class. First, we will see the constructors. The various types of constructors that can be used to create objects of string class are string opening and closing bracket. This type of constructor function helps to create a blank string. Example, string str1, it will contain the blank string inside the str1. The second type of constructor is string in bracket another string. This type of constructor function tries to create a string that is similar to another string. Example, string str2 in bracket hello. Now, string str2 contains the string hello. The third type is string another string comma particular position comma count. This type of constructor function tries to create a string that counts characters from the another string. Starting at a particular position, the parameter count is optional. If count is not specified, then all the characters from the another string starting at a particular position and going to the end of the another string are included in the new string. Example, string str4 in bracket str2 comma 1. Now, string str4 will contain the characters from the first position of str2. Suppose str2 contains the value hello, then it will contain the value str4 will have the value as e l l o starting with index value 1. The last one is string in bracket count comma character. This type of constructor function creates a string containing the character that is repeated count number of times. Example, string in bracket 6 comma star. Now, here the string will contain 6 stars. Destructor of string class. The destructor of a string class is used to destroy the string object. That is, it removes all the storage space capacity that is owned by the string using its allocation or the constructor. Syntax is tilde sign string opening and closing bracket. Now, let us see different operators on a string class. The different type of operators that are used in a string class are assignment plus concatenation plus equal to concatenation assignment equal equal to will be equality, exclamation equal to inequality less than less than equal to greater than greater than equal to opening and closing square bracket will be subscript or the index and the input operator and output operator. The member functions that are supported by the string classes are assign will assign a part of the string, append will append a part of the string to another string, add will acquire the character that is stored at a specific location, begin will return the reference to the beginning of the string, compare will compare the string against another string. Then there are different functions as capacity, empty, end, erase, find will search for the particular occurrence, insert will insert a character, length will give the how many number of elements are there in a string, max size will return the maximum number of elements the string is able to hold, then replace, resize, size and swap. Now, let us see a program to see the different ways of creating string objects. We will start with our program hash include iostream, hash include string using namespace std, 
now we will start with our main program integer main now we will have the declarations here string str1 comma str4 string str2 in bracket double quotes the value wel well string str3 in bracket double quotes the value come com. now we are going to equate two strings str1 is equal to str2 so now here str1 will have the value well see out enter the text only single word so we are displaying the message to the user we'll take the value as c in str4 now we'll display back on the screen the string as c out string str4 is the value of str4 c out string str2 is the value of str2 variable and string str3 is the value of str3 and l string result str1 c out the string result is the value of the result and l result is equal to str1 plus str3 see out the concatenation of two strings str1 and str3 is the value of the result return 0 and the main program will end now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as enter the text only single word suppose the enter text is hello then it will display on the string string str4 is hello then it will display the output as string str2 is well and string str3 is come then it will display the message output as string result is well concatenation of two strings well and come is welcome to modification or the manipulation of the string objects the contents of the string objects can be modified with the help of the member functions such as insert, replace, append and erase. Now let us see each one of them in detail. The insert member function of a string class permit to insert a character or a character array, a string or multiple characters into a string given the starting position. It has four forms, they are as follows. The syntax are string ampersand insert integer position comma constant string ampersand s here it will insert the string s in the invoking object at index position pos string ampersand insert integer position comma constant char star cs it inserts cs in the invo invoking object at index position position start string ampersand insert integer position comma constant character cs comma integer n it inserts the first n characters in the cs in the invoking object at index position pos and the last one string ampersand insert integer position comma integer n comma char c it will insert n c in the invoking object at index position pos now second member function is replace the replace member function of a string class can be used to replace a substring of a string with a given string or any character array it has different forms as string ampersand replace integer position comma integer n comma constant string ampersand s it will replace with the string s from the index position pos across n characters of the invoking string string ampersand replace integer position comma integer n comma constant char star cs it will replace with cs the contents from the index position pos across n characters string ampersand replace integer position comma integer n comma constant char star cs comma integer n2 comma integer n3 it replaces the contents from index position pos across n characters with the first n3 characters of cs starting at n2 position and the last one string ampersand replace integer position comma integer n comma integer n2 comma character c it replaces the content from the index position pos across n characters with n2 c's characters the next member function is append the append member function of a string class permits to append a string a character array or a character to a string 
it has different forms as string ampersand append constant string ampersand s it appends string s to the invoking object string ampersand append constant string ampersand s comma integer position comma integer n it appends string s starting at index position pos and across n characters in string s it will not go beyond the end of the string s if n is too big string ampersand append integer n comma character c it appends character n number of times string ampersand append constant character star s it appends cs to the invoking object string ampersand append constant character star cs integer n it appends the first n of characters in cs now let's see the example string str1 is equal to robert string str2 is equal to the string is not character star str3 is equal to the string super now character c1 is equal to d now if we say str1 dot append str2 then str1 is robert is not str1 is equal to robert str1 dot append 5d then the str1 is robert and 5d is erase function the erase member function of a string class allows to remove a series of characters from a string from index position pos over n characters or until the end of the string whichever comes first the syntax is string ampersand erase integer position equal to 0 integer n is equal to string colon colon n position now let's see a program to implement the usage of less than greater than equal to not equal to and plus operators on string object hash include io stream hash include string using namespace std integer main string str1 is well string str2 is capital w e l well string str3 is capital w e l well see out string str1 is str1 str2 is str2 and str3 is str3 if str1 is not equal to str2 see out string str1 not equal to str2 if str2 is equal to str3 see out string 2 and string 3 are equal string str4 is equal to str2 plus cam see out string str3 is str3 see out string str4 is str4 if str3 is less than str4 see out string str3 is less than str4 else see out string str3 is not less than str4 and l if str4 is equal to str3 plus the string cam see out str4 is equal to str3 plus cam and l integer result is equal to str1 dot compare in bracket str2 if result is equal to 0 see out string str1 and str2 are not equal and l. else if result is less than 0 see out string str1 is less than str2 else see out string str1 is greater than str2 and l return 0 and end of the program now it's a big program you can go through the each and every value of str1 str2 and so on when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as string str1 is well string str2 is capital w e l and str3 is capital w e l now here string 1 value is small w and string 2 value is capital w so the message will be string str1 is not equal to str2 next string str2 and str3 are equal because their values are same capital w e l string str3 is capital w e l string str4 is welcome string str3 is less than str4 string str4 is equal to str3 plus cum string str1 is greater than str2 characteristics of strings the string class of c++ will support some of the functions that can be used to get the characteristics of strings these functions are capacity the capacity function will return the size of the storage space that is presently allocated to the string length will 
the length function will return the length of the string in terms of bytes size the size function returns the length of the string in terms of bytes now let us see a program to see the characteristics of the strings we will start with our program hash include io string hash include string using namespace std now we will define our user defined function as void display characteristics of strings the parameter will be string str1 so here one parameter will be passed for the user defined function now in this particular function we are going to call different string functions so we will start writing the code of user defined function as first we will write the size of the string so we will call a function size here so our statement will be see out the size of the string is str1.size where this function is a predefined function which is called here second will be the length of the string is the str1.length third one see out the capacity of the string is str1.length and the fourth one the maximum capacity of the string is str1.max capacity and our user defined function will end now let us start with our main program void main here we will first define the object of this particular class string as string st1 now we will display this string on the screen as see out the string is the value of st1 now we will call our user defined function as display characteristics of the strings in bracket st1 now we have not taken any input we have not initialized this st1 object so it is basically the blank string so it will display the properties of this st1 now we will take the input from the user we will display the message enter the string but that string has to be only one word now we will take the value from the user as c in st1 now the input is taken inside the string we will again display this string and call our user defined function so first we will say c out the string is st1 and now we will call our function display characteristics of strings in bracket st1 now we will resize this particular string as st1 dot resize 15 now we will display the string once again see out the string is st1 and again we will call a user defined function as display characteristics of strings in bracket st1 return 0 and our main program will end now when this particular program is compiled and executed the output will be the first string st1 is blank so it will display the string as blank and it will display the properties as the size is 0 the length is 0 the capacity is 0 and the maximum capacity of that particular string some number large number which the strings can store next it will ask the input from the user as enter one single word so suppose the enter string is welcome then it will display the properties as the size is 7 the length is 7 the capacity of this particular string is 7 and the maximum capacity is will be displayed as one large value the next we have resized this particular string as 15 so it will again display the string as welcome and now the length value and the size value will be 15 the find function the find member function of string class that is available in c++ library helps to locate the first occurrence of a string a character array or a character it has the different forms as integer find constant string ampersand a s integer position is equal to 0 it searches the invoking object for string s starting at index position and returns the index where the string s is first located integer find constant character star cs comma integer position is equal to 0 it searches the invoking object for cs starting at index position and returns the index where the cs is first located integer find char c comma integer position is equal to 0 it will search the invoking object for character c starting at index position and return the index value where the character c is located now let us see a program of a string to replace the another string we will start with the program hash include io stream hash include string using namespace std integer main string base string is equal to this is a test string string 
string to be replaced with is equal to n space example c out the base string is base string so here the output will be this is a test string base string dot replace 9 comma 5 string to be replaced with now here the string that is to be replaced is n blank space example and where it has to be replaced is a this is a test string now it will start with position 9 see out the base string after the replacement is base string end a return 0 and the program will end when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the output as the base string is this is a test string and the base string after replacement is this is an example string comparing and swapping of strings the compare function can be used compare either to complete strings or portions of two strings syntax is integer compare constant string ampersand str constant the swap function can be used to swap the contents of two string objects the syntax is void swap string ampersand str a program to compare and swap strings we will start with the program hash include io stream using namespace std integer main we are going to declare four strings as string text 1 is equal to read red string text 2 is equal to read read string text 3 is equal to rod rod and string text 4 is equal to road road now we are going to display the message as see how text 1 is text 1 text 2 is text 2 text 3 is text 3 and text 4 is text 4 integer result is equal to text 1 do not compare in bracket text 3 if result is equal to 0 then see how text 1 equal to text 3 else if result is less than 0 see how text 1 is less than text 2 if result is greater than 0 see how text 1 is greater than text 2 integer result 1 is equal to text 1 dot compare 0 comma 2 comma text 2 comma 0 comma 2 see out result is result end l see out string text 1 and text 2 before swapping is text 1 and text 2 swap text 1 comma text 2 see out strings text 1 and text 2 after swapping is text 1 and text 2 return 0 when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as text 1 is read text 2 is read text 3 is rod and text 4 is road text 1 is less than text 2 result 1 is 0 string text 1 and text 2 before swapping is read and read strings text 1 and text 2 after swapping is read and read arrays of strings in our array of strings it is possible to store array of series of characters a string array is a two dimensional array in which the first dimensional tell how many strings will be stored in the string array and the second dimension will tell how many characters each string will hold now let's see a program to implement the usage of array of strings we'll start with the program hash include io stream using namespace std integer main will declare the array as character months of the year 12 in second bracket 11 so here it will have 12 rows and 11 columns so here this particular array will be initialized using the curly brackets as january february march april the 12 months of the year for integer i equal to 0 i less than 12 i plus plus c out month i plus 1 is equal to months of the year in bracket i and l return 0 when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce a result as month 1 january month 2 february month 3 march and so on the association between the c library functions and c++ strings operators methods now it is shown in the following table the c library functions is string copy str copy and the operator is equal to for string cat plus equal to for string compare comparison equal to equal to not equal to less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to string chr string string it will be dot find method for string character it will be dot r find method and for string length it will be a length or the size method now let us summarize the module 27 of strings as we have seen the c strings is nothing but the array of characters followed by the blank character or the null character 
in C++ to take the strings without the blank space we can use the statement C in. To accept the strings with the blank space we can use the statement get line or get s. To display the screens on the screen we can use the statement as C out or put s. To use the functions get s and put s we have to include the string header file. To pass the strings to the functions it can be done in the same way as we pass the array to the functions. The functions that are supported by C++ that control not terminated strings are string copy, string cat, string length, string compare, string string and string chr. The string class is very huge and it consists of constructor, destructor, member functions and various operators. To use the string class it is must to include the file string. The destructor of a class is used to destroy the string object. The contents of the string object can be modified with the help of the member functions as insert, replace, append and erase. The string class of C++ supports some of the functions that can be used to get the characteristics of strings. Some of them are capacity, length and size. The find member function of a string is available in C++ library which will locate the first occurrence of a string. The replace member function will replace a substring of a string with a given string or a character array. The compare function can be used to compare to complete strings or the portion of the strings. The swap function can be used to swap the contents of two strings. A string array is the two dimensional array in which the first dimensional will tell how many strings will be stored and the second dimension will tell how many characters each string will hold.